Hello, Retroburn here, aka Lamus, creator of Inbacord.blogspot.com, and today I'm going to run you through a guide on how to update your Steam games because someone posted on my Inbacord Facebook page asking how to do just that. Um, if you're wondering where my Facebook page is, you can see the link below. And about the guide, um, here goes. So, first thing is that you have to ensure that the specific game you want to be patched already has the always keep this game up to date option enabled. To check that, um, go to yours, um, to the game you want to keep updating, and right click. For example, we're going to check Darksiders 2 here. It's on my Steam Games library. So we're going to right click on the title and navigate to properties. So you click that one and then you go to updates where you'll see this bar here. So make sure that uh, the game has this always keep this game up to date uh, option. Conversely, uh, if you don't want, if you have a limited bandwidth, like if you're living in New Zealand uh, or Australia, I have friends there, and uh, they have this um, data cap, this bandwidth cap, and they find it so annoying that some of their free games, like for example, uh, Team Fortress 2, that they don't really play much around these days, it keeps updating, so they it inadvertently um, hogs their bandwidth so if you have the same scenario you may want to um, choose the do not automatically update this game to conserve your bandwidth but if you want to just like the person who asked you can choose uh, you should choose this always keep this game up to date and close the window and you're done. Also, if um, you suspect that your game is corrupted or that you can't, um, in the case of Killing Floor, which is a multiplayer centric game, and you suspect that um, you can't connect to the servers, you can't play with your mates because your version is outdated, you could always go to properties and go to um, local files. Just like what it says here, and you could, and click on very verify integrity of game cache. That will force Steam to check the uh, games, your local files in your PC, and compare that with the with the with those of Steam in their ser in their servers, and cross check if your game is up to date. So. For the full guide now to do this, I've also included images. You could uh, see the link below and visit my site. It's all there. So this is it for this guide. Uh, this has been Retroburn, aka Ildamus, greater Finbacord at blogspot.com. Let's stay cool, stay frosty. See you around.